Man is shaking the rope up and down. He is transferring energy to the rope, and the rope transports this energy in repeating oscillations or waves. We see movements in two directions here. Wave starts at the man's hand and moves forward. We call this movement propagation. The wave propagates forward. The second movement is the direction of oscillation. Look at the red dot on the rope. It moves up and down. So the rope's wave oscillates at right angle to the wave's propagation. The wave that moves in this way is called the transverse wave. Now, the woman is also generating a wave. Let's follow the red dot. The wave displaces the dot up to a crest, down into a trough, then back to its original position. That is one wave cycle. This distance here is called an amplitude. A wave's amplitude is the maximum displacement caused by this wave. Now, the woman is shaking the rope more strongly, so she's transferring more energy, so as a result, the wave oscillates with a higher amplitude. So the amplitude is the measure of energy. The higher the wave's amplitude, the more energy the wave carries. A wave is also measured by its length. The wavelength is the length of one wave cycle. It is the distance wave travels until it repeats. Since a wave is a periodic pattern, we can measure a wavelength from any point of a cycle to the repeated point in the next cycle. For example, from crest to crest or from trough to trough. The wavelength is denoted with a Greek letter lambda. The woman's rope wave has a wavelength lambda of about 50 centimeters. Now we want to know how often a wave cycle repeats. Let's look at the oscillating rope for one second. One. How many cycles did you see? I counted two. Two cycles per second. That is the wave's frequency. That's how often the red dot goes up and down in a certain time. Frequency is measured in hertz. One hertz is one cycle per second. The woman's rope wave goes two cycle per second. So it has a frequency f of two hertz. Knowing the wavelength and frequency of a wave, we can calculate the wave's velocity. The woman's wave has a wavelength of 50 centimeters and a frequency of 2 hertz. So how fast it is? How far it will travel in a second? The wavelength gives us the distance one wave cycle travels, 50 centimeters. Its frequency tells us how often the cycle repeats in a second, two times. So in a second, it travels 50 centimeters times 2. That gives us its velocity. This wave travels with a speed of 100 cm or 1 meter per second. Wavelength multiplied by frequency equals a wave's velocity, or v equals lambda times f.